So Mark here again with Exotic Car Play Place and today we're going to review the new BMW Mini. Um, this car is a 2016 and is actually the base car featured with the automatic transmission which certainly isn't the sportiest combination that you'll find available. You can get the Cooper S which is kind of the uh, upscale version which has a lot more power. It's up around 190 horsepower, a turbocharged four cylinder and uh, a two liter engine. This particular car here actually has a 1.5 liter three cylinder engine also blown with a turbocharged that's intercooled. And so the car actually has a surprisingly amount of, uh, of pep. It actually has numbers, power numbers that exceed last previous generation's four cylinder engines. This particular car has putting about 134 horsepower and features about 162 foot pounds of torque, which it actually gives you a pretty good, uh, pretty good kick in the rear when you put the foot down. And being that you have three selected modes, you have kind of the economy mode, then you have the mid-level mode, which is kind of, you know, your traction control, your throttle response, and everything is dialed in kind of mid-level. And then you have the sport mode, which is available on this car too, which just tightens everything up. And actually, it's a lot of fun. The uh, throttle response is a lot sharper. You feel the power, and it gives you some cool themes too. When you, when you dial in the different modes, you get different lighting themes on the center dash part here. So it's, it's kind of a funky look. It's a unique kind of a car cute in a lot of ways but it's actually a lot of fun to drive so with that 134 horsepower that's all driven through front wheel drive which you know is pretty typical for a car of this size which isn't too bad I mean it, it, it still works um, and again the beauty of this car these new minis is the quality control has gone up immensely the previous generation was a fun car it was an entry-level car but you know some parts of it kind of looked entry-level this machine here doesn't look that entry level. Yeah, the size and the price might dictate that, but it actually, there's a lot of good mixture of nice materials in here. Um, you know, soft touch, different textures in some of the plastics, and the car does not feel cheap by any means. You know, to grab the steering wheel, it's kind of a, a fatter, coarser type wheel. It feels good to, to grab a hold of. It feels like a sportier car. Now, you know, the other thing I might comment, it's, it's got all the typical safety, safety, uh, you know, safety add-ons that you have in today's cars, you know, like the ABS, of course, you have the traction controls and all that fun jazz. So that's all available in this car. Now, the beauty is some of that you can disable for, you know, if you ever decide you want to take a little car like this to the racetrack or have a little fun with it, a little spirited driving, the power in itself generally won't get you into a lot of trouble, but you can turn off those traction control aids and, and allow the car to be a little bit more engaging and a little bit more fun yet. So all in all, you know, the, the car's also got the full panoramic sunroof, which basically goes from front to back, two separate sections, but nonetheless, there's a lot of regular daylight that lets in through this car. Uh, it has 15 inch wheels, which sound pretty small, but believe it or not, are well suited to the car. So the car looks very well balanced. There's some nice features, not just on the inside, of course, which I mentioned already. The quality of the interior looks vastly improved from the previous generation. But the exterior also looks, just little things like the front grille, and little parts just look like they've changed them a little bit. I, I don't know what exactly put the finger on it, but the car has a sense of a, a slightly higher quality and a little bit better build quality overall than the previous generation version. So all in all, it's a great new addition to the mini brand and uh, you know what it's been a lot of fun driving this car so that's basically just how I want to summarize the drive uh, in the new 2016 mini with the base engine 1.5 liter three cylinder I hope you enjoyed that um, I'm going to feature another video here shortly which talks about a few of the things I really didn't like about the car and I will follow that up as well with another video on some of the things I loved about the car so kind of the love and hate thing again that I'm going to touch on with this new Mini. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around for more. And you know what? Um, I, I look forward to your comments. Uh, please subscribe. That tells me you enjoyed this material. And I will show you a lot more in days to follow. So thanks again.